ancestors have lived here in this place for hundreds of years, the life where your ancient ancestors first evolved millions of years ago. You live in a very tightly knit family group. Social structure is extremely important. Many horses make strong bonds with other horses that can last a lifetime. Then one day a monster comes out of the sky. It starts chasing you and your family. You're terrified. You run harder and faster than you were ever meant to run. A lot of horses have become foot sore and are injured in the process. Your two month old filly can't keep up. She falls behind and you're not gonna see her again. Other foals are able to stay with the herd for a while, but they're eventually separated from their mothers and are left to fend for themselves. Yeah. You find yourself in a concentration camp. Herds are turned in together with no regard to social structure. This leads to fighting, injury, and death. As a defense mechanism, your mind begins to shut down. You've never known anything but freedom, and you cannot comprehend confinement. Other horses are in the same predicament, and eventually you begin to lose hope. You and other terrified horses are herded into a metal box. Instinct tells you that confined spaces are extremely dangerous. It's like the arms of a mountain lion or the dead end of a canyon where a wolf pack could corner you. And then you're put in this metal box and it starts to move. You're packed in very tightly with other frightened horses. You move for a very long time and you go to a place called Mexico. And then you're in a chute. You're following the other horses. You smell fear and blood and death. And then it's your turn to have the skin pulled from your flesh, the flesh from your bones, and the blood drained from your body while you're still alive. And what did you do to deserve this? These horses deserve to have you see what's happening to them, what's happening right now. I couldn't bring myself to show the picture. It was just too horrible, absolutely horrible. Horses first evolved here in North America. They were here until the Ice Age, and they returned with the Spanish explorers. Less than 100 years ago, there were more than 2 million wild horses living in balance with nature. Today, there are less than 15,000 in the western United States in the wild. In 1971, Congress passed the Wild Free Roaming Horse and Borough Act to try to preserve what we had left 40 years ago, folks. And at that time, they set aside 53 million acres to preserve these horses. But the BLM has been getting rid of them very quickly at an alarming rate. 9,000 horses a year in the last few years. In the last few weeks alone, 1.4 million acres have been cleared of horses from the West. Why? Because horses don't pay rent. The, six, the owners of the six million cattle who run on public lands pay rent, mining companies pay rent, and slaughterhouses are willing to pay for horses' flesh. <coughs> BLM claims that horses are overpopulated and they're damaging the grassland. In reality, horses make up less than half a percent of all grazing animals. Remember, there were once millions of horses here, plus buffalo, plus other grazing animals that lived in balance with nature. BLM also claims that the horses are starving and they need to be removed for their own protection. The reality of what's happening is the BLM is fencing off water and grazing places to keep them the best places for the cattle, and the horses can't get to them, and then, of course, they die. The BLM is using millions of dollars of taxpayer money to hold currently 33,000 horses in basically concentration camps. They pay millions of dollars on roundups, thousands on adoptions. It would cost zero to just let them free and land that's set, set aside for them. The recent Salazar plan would like to take the remaining horses, move them to the East Coast into basically zoos. These would be non-genetically viable herds, and that would be the end of the wild horse in North America as we know it. We as horse owners make up 2% of the population. We have done what we can, they are not listening to us. That means it's up to you, the other 98% of the population, to do something to stop this nonsense. So contact your senators now, this is a very critical issue. Tell them they must support the Rome Act 
to restore horses to the land that was set aside for them legally. President Obama has done nothing to stop this. Let him know we have to stop this horrific roundup and we have to stop slaughtering our heritage.